hello you are welcome back to this channel and in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to blend the background of your designs all right blend the background of your designs and make it look awesome and stand out in the market so without further ado let's jump into it all right so the app that we are going to use this for this particular tutorial would be pixart and pixel app all right so the pixel app is what we are going to use to blend the background and right after blending the background we are going to use Pixel Lab to face things out. All right, so it is just pretty quiet. Just go ahead and click on this plus sign right here at the middle bottom here, right after opening your PixArt app. So I'm going to leave the link in the description for you to download the PixArt app as well. All right, it is available for both Android and iOS users. Okay, so let's go straight forward. Alright, so having tap on the plus sign, you can see a lot of things over here. So, but what we are interested in is to blend a background of our picture. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to use one design made by my favorite guy who has been following the channel for a while now. His name is Caleb. So, Caleb, shout out to you wherever you are watching this video. I'm going to use your design to make this particular tutorial. Alright. So, having selected your picture that you want to use just come back and tap on effects right at the bottom right here once you tap on effects you will see a whole lot of effects over here but we are interested in blur and by default when you tap on effect you may see fs which also stands for effect you may see canvas but what you are interested in is to scroll sideways right like how i just did right now scroll and come to where you see blur all right so when you see blur just tap on blur so you see blur right right here just tap on it by default a certain thickness of blurness has been selected if you don't like it you want to adjust it to your best way just tap on it again like this and you see blur all right this is the strength of the blur you can see when i push it all the way to 100 percent it has been totally blend up right but you can leave it somewhere here or here for you to just get it either 50% 30% the one that best switch you all right use that one okay I think I'll go with 45 and the fade I'll leave it at zero because if you increase it, it is how it's going to appear all right so the fade let's leave it at zero all right so this is pretty much cool and having done this all that we need to do is to tap on this download icon over here to save the picture to our gallery all right save to gallery so all that we need to do is to go back to puzzle lab and face things out all right so i'm going to see you in puzzle lab very soon well you're welcome back to puzzle lab great so what we are going to do right here is to just import a picture and make manipulations that's all so let's just go ahead and delete this test first and set the size of our work so preferably i'll be using the size which is like youtube thumbnail for this tutorial because i'll basically use it as youtube thumbnail so we just tap on custom then we see several options over here then we choose youtube thumbnail great so basically i'm going to set the background color to white so i'll choose white for the background nice now so we just have to tap on this icon right here and come to import and we import what's our blade image so it is here we just have to import it great and we are going to reduce the size way down Okay, so we are going to make a copy of it just to make sure that we are getting it well fitted onto our working area. Good. What we are going to do basically next is to import the main picture as well and also reduce the size of it. Alright, so we have the main picture over here as well. So we're just going to import it and we reduce the size as well. Good. 
great i think this is okay we just have to make sure that our images are of the same position or size then we are good to go great so what we are going to do next is to add common shadow all right add a basic shadow to the two image that we've already bled so what we are going to do basically is to select stickers then tap empty area in our working space space like this and come back and tap on where we put the sticker so it is at the top left corner here where this lab is written so we just tap on it go to color then change it to probably black we use main black for it great and having done that you just have to stretch it okay all right so it seems this one will not be perfect for us so we are going to use a different method right now and i'm going to delete this and i use different method so the method we are we are going to use next is to use the shape probably we will use this and we increase the radius a bit and we also increase the length of it and make it way down smaller like this and having done it like that we are going to reduce the opacity all the way down to zero and having done that we are going to increase the stroke and the blurness as well you know we are dealing with blurness right here so that's basically how we're going to do it so we just tap on a check mark and we're good to go let's send it backwards so we just tap on to back and we have it right here now the next thing we are going to do is to reduce the opacity of it okay we just have to reduce the opacity of it till it is well fitting let me go ahead and lock the layers at the top so that they don't distract me whilst i manipulate the shadow great so I just push it up a bit and that will be it great we've, we've done an amazing job over here so the next thing to do is to save it as you already know basically so that is pretty much it and you also know that I always use the ultra whenever I'm saving a web just to maintain the quality. Alright, so we're good to go. Alright, so that is it. And thank you so much for watching this particular tutorial. And I hope to see you in the next one. And please, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so that you don't miss any updates from this channel. Alright, bless you.